good morning, good evening, good afternoon to the people from a different time zones. Now we are watching our podcast. This is a podcast, Happy at Work. My name is Tatiana Hovel. In our podcast, we are usually discussing the different topics about employee brand management, corporate culture, and of course, employee happiness. And today, with my colleague uh, from Brazil, we will discuss I think, all of these three topics, the very important uh, topics also about diversity and inclusion. But before we start here, I want to ask uh, a colleague to make an introduction. Hi, Anna. Hi, Tari. <laughs> I'm okay. Anna. <laughs> oh. Let's continue or not? Yes, yes. So you're gonna... <laughs> I want to ask you to make a short introduction. Okay, thank you, Tati. I'm Anna, Anna Dourado, uh, but just Anna, it's okay. I'm a Brazilian person. Um, as Tati told you, and I'm I'm a journalist. I'm in, I, I'm Mariana's mom. Um, I had an opportunity to study about uh, uh, management, people, management, uh, business, culture, and diversity and uh, diversity and inclusion. So it's a good opportunity to stay here talking with you about my job, my studies, and what, how, and how we connect uh, employee branding and diversity. How do you do it? That's really great. Anna, could you tell a little bit about your company? I know it's uh, very well known, one of the biggest uh, company in Brazil. Uh, uh, but I, I think uh, maybe the people from other countries, uh, I think they have to know about your company. Could you share with us, please? <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, nowadays I work at Natura. Natura is a uh, first of a uh, it's a it's a Latin company, and we are the first. Uh, we are the number one in cosmetics in Latin. Uh, in Natura, I'm I'm leader. In, I'm a leader of a team in employer branding, and we have. Um, Great challenge because Natura is famous for uh, being a natural, <laughs> um, sustainable, and a, and responsible company. So they, therefore, we need to uh, uh, to know how employer brand, how to attract, and how to uh, maintain um, the best talents. Uh, inside the company to continue with this reputation and more than it. Uh, we have a uh, life compromise with uh, uh, diversity. Uh, therefore, more than attract and maintain talents inside Natura, I need to do it, think about uh, my target, diversity people. Mm -hmm. Uh, could we first discuss uh, your diversity and inclusion policy of your company? Uh, um, I know what in Brazil it has the best practice in this area, and I think it could be very interesting to the HR managers in other countries to know more what is uh, your approach is. Yeah, perfect. Um, here in Brazil, we we uh, let's. Let's come back some steps. Um, diversity and inclusion is not a favor. It's not a, a good thing for me. Uh, 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 I'm cute. I'm I'm worried with with people. No, it's more than it. Uh, diversity is about business. Uh, diversity is about a uh, um, uh, uh, different differential uh, uh, for a competitive differential. Uh, therefore, we need to to be serious about these practicals. Here in, in Brazil, especially in Natura, uh, uh, where I work, we have uh, um, we have different uh, uh, different ways to to work diversity. For us, diversity is uh, is 
Sables, Sables, Sables to Attic. Uh, their um, <laughs> diversity is a is a practice. Is in not it's not a team. Is a practice. We we have a diversity in all over the all 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 of our practice. Um, for example, when we need to be a talent, when when the talent acquisition team needs to contract a, a, a person, we think we have a, 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 a space, we have a, some opportunities dedicated to diversity people, women, black people, uh, people with disabilities, um, uh, like a uh, uh, community, like comun community LGBT, <laughs> uh, we have uh, opportunity dedication uh, for this public, and more than attract this the this public, we have uh, we have some habits to 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 make this these people comfortable, se uh, safe inside the company. Uh, so we have uh, um, a phone number that any employee can uh, make a, 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 a make notes, make a report. We can report if you if you receive or if you see something wrong. Uh, we have uh, a, a, um, groups to study uh, how we what Natura can do for these people, um, these diversity people feel comfortable. And more than it, we have uh, sessions to, 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 um, to training uh, leadership, to about, uh, we have sessions to train in leadership about, uh, uh, about how we not, re we're not uh, uh, tolerate racism. For example, we have a uh, uh, training that how you, uh, as a leader, impact in a routine uh, of the the team. There we other other situation that you had, and uh, we make a research uh, for people say who they are. Uh, for example, I'm a black woman. I'm a mom. Uh, I'm a, I, I, I grew up in a slum. Uh, it's important to know how uh, how how are our people, how where uh, where they from, because uh, you know how to extract extract mm -hmm. how how to to how can manifest the potential uh, more than than technical situations i need to respect people like uh, people need to be in the center of the of the the business uh, it is like we do a uh, other practical that you that you do at natura is uh, have a uh, a committee uh, with with a uh, representative of different areas to discuss in my routine, in my job description, what I have to do to make uh, a better situation, a better uh, opportunity for these people, and it is it's difficult because I am recently we receive a, a title of uh, the most inclusion company in Brazil and we feel so so happy so proud because um, none of the title uh, it's not a it's not a word the most important is think wow here at Natura people can be who they are they don't need to um, put masks. Uh, they can uh, they can share their talents and not worried about oh who I am is not a problem. They don't they don't know they can know uh, who I am. 
I I I know who I am and I I feel proud for who I am and I know that who I am is uh, make an impact in what I do and how I do. Uh, Anna, it's so insightful for me uh, because usually when we discuss employee happiness, uh, and we talk about people-centric culture. Uh, but as you say, it's very, very interesting about diversity is inclusion. It's a, the best way to the people-centric culture. To the culture where you could be yourself uh, as a person, it's very, very important. But for some companies, it's very difficult to come to these ideas. Uh, they look at uh, employees like all their resources. Uh, the employees, like on the function, you are marketing, uh, you are logistic, a salesperson. But uh, when we talk about uh, diversity and inclusion, we talk about personality uh, and we talk about strong sides of the people. But implementing this uh, culture, uh, I, I think you met uh, a lot of uh, challenges. What are, are the biggest uh, challenges uh, for you on the way uh, to the people-centric culture, uh, to the diverse uh, culture, uh, or the, all the people in the company understand why uh, you're going this way and um, what could, they can do for this way? What is the main thing? Perfect. Um, diversity is a strategy. Uh, is not a team, as I told you. Uh, and, and it's important to say, Tati, that uh, first of all, uh, is a is a company strategy. Um, is mo is is really important that the the C level could understand that it is important because when when you don't have um, the the C level the the principal leaders uh, understand that uh, people can be who they are is important for my for the my results um, it's not it, I, I can cascade this this idea uh, therefore the most important is the C level it's okay with this strategy um, in Natura, for example, we have um, we have um, behaviors, behaviors and reasons to believe. <laughs> and in, in our behaviors, for example, we say that we are curious and we know to and you like to do something new. I can do something new if I have people same like me in my team. I can make innovation. It's not possible. Um, I, I, I need to have people with a different baggage, with different experience. Um, it is important because if I, if I have a, a, a multidisciplinary uh, team, if I have different people in the same team, I have a good result. I have a biggest result. Uh, therefore, diversity is not about be cool. Diversity is about money. <laughs> it's about results. Others, other, uh, I told you about behavior and about reasons to believe. We believe that... Um, Natura is a space for creating uh, strong relationships. And I can't re create relationship <laughs> if <laughs> I, I don't respect the other. And when I talk about diversity, I talk about respect the other. I don't need to be uh, same like you, Tat, but I need to respect it who you are and your story. And when I do it, I can create something biggest because I open my mind and I have an opportunity to meet your world. Uh, therefore, when I, when I meet your world, 
I feel biggest and my ideas, my workforce, my dedication is biggest too. Uh, I'm budget and I have a, a life master, a life master and doctor, Dr. Daisaku Ikeda, and he said that um, speak different languages. Uh, when you speak different languages, you can um, know the know and make a friendship with all the world. And when I think about it, the you know you are you saying i not speak a good english but in my mind the most important is uh, share my ideas and can listen and uh, um, absorb your ideas too uh, it is diversity it is uh, understand that we are different but we can complement and in the end of this uh, conversation of this relationship we will be bigger uh, we 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 are bigger in uh, e when you talk about culture i believe that you you can show the employees uh, where you go why it is important when the the C level the leadership believe in it when you have reasons to believe when you have practicals in your day when you have a a, a, a way to to inform oh I, I read that the the right form to do the right way to do something is like that and I see in my team that is so different what is the real what, what is the the, the real <laughs> uh, uh, employer branding you say, you told to me when I was um, in a interview process that I I would that I can, that I would be respected here. And, oh, I saw a situation that's not respectful. So, uh, in Natura, we create a culture that diversity is responsible for everyone. Uh, we have an area responsible to create this, this strategy, the, the, um, the, the way. Né? but um, the most important is uh, each employee can need to guarantee that diversity and inclusion will be happen in during the days. Uh, I like I really like this approach. Uh, I like some of citation of your speech. Uh, diversity is about money. Uh, so it's really, really great uh, because it's about people and also about money for the business. Uh, totally agree with you. Anna, uh, my next question is about employer brand and connection of uh, employer brand, employer branding and uh, diversity and inclusion. Uh, which, uh, what should you do with your employer brand for attracting different people? And how your employer brand uh, uh, influence uh, your diversity in inclusion? What is uh, the connection uh, and uh, how you build your really strong employer brand using the diversity and inclusion approach? I believe that is intelligent. You have uh, diversity as a... As a um, um, uh, practical in your company because uh, our talent are, are diversity. <laughs> if I don't think in it, I I will only offer opportunities for the same people, and it is bad for my business. It's not a good idea. And at Natura, uh, we have a life compromise that you want to 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 give opportunity for people who 
normally don't have this opportunity. For example, we have a, we have goals, <laughs> and we have goals about, for example, women leadership. Uh, we want to have forty uh, percent of women in leadership. It is important. Uh, we want to have twenty five percent of black people in leadership. Oh, why you do it? Ah, because it's natura is good. Yeah, natura is good, but more than it, these people don't have the same opportunity that the other people. Uh, women don't have the same opportunity that, that men, and <laughs> black people don't have the same opportunity um, as white people. Here in Brazil, uh, black people are... Um, the 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 most part of the po the popula the citizen the population uh, is black but the opportunity when you see the when you compare with the opportunities is not okay is not dissimilar uh, therefore when you make um, affirmative actions you we you you understand that one you have a problem two I'm responsible to organize this situation. And three, I need to give opportunity for these people. For example, in Natura, we have uh, programs to um, training talents, diverse the talents that, oh, they, they, for example, you have uh, an opportunity and all of short all our short list that the people who will go to participate of this process is men and white oh <laughs> let's let's stop and let's let let's guarantee that in this short list we will have people a diversity people it is important and when you don't uh, find these people in the in these areas for uh, prepared for these opportunities we have a compromise to training these people and uh, it is important because if you hold if it during this story these people do, doesn't have an uh, opportunity to study to travel to connect with influent people to meet different cultures of course these people uh, is not in the same uh, step of the others that have that had uh, opportunities uh, so natura has a responsible for training and gave opportunity that opportunities for these people guaranteed that they can translate his life that can that can change this life because because when um, I will use my 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 example when I conquest when I conquer uh, 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 an opportunity in a good company when I can be when I when I I make part of the leadership of the company uh, it's a uh, good uh, 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 it's proud for me but it's it's changed the life of my life of my family it is uh, when I talk about diversity and employee branding we are talking gave opportunity for all talents and more than it it's about um, guaranteed that we have diversity people in your company and you have different kind of solutions for your problems uh, because um, uh, black people for example uh, maybe don't study in the best in, in the best um, school but the same people had a life that prepare for the the, the situation that you never imagine uh, therefore when I talk about uh, employer brand and diversity I talk about create a opportunity to uh, make an approach at the uh, 
put near the talent and the opportunities. I know that I um, I arrive at, at here and I have an opportunity to talk with you with <laughs> for different <laughs> different uh, countries because I had an opportunity because I studied a lot because I make a, a good work and more than it because I have people that say okay I believe in you and I will give an opportunity and nowadays I'm recognized as a <laughs> good <laughs> good professional and I was there. I was a talent. If anyone look at the, the, the diversity talents, they will lose opportunities, talents, and money, money, and money. Uh, that's uh, so great. Uh, I want to discuss uh, uh, another side uh, of diversity, inclusion, and collaboration culture. This is uh, about people. This is about your current employees. Uh, we have the absolutely different people. We have our own experience. We have, and also we have our own biases. Uh, we believe in something, uh, we could be wrong, but we, we feel that this is the right, this is wrong. Uh, how do you engage your employee in diversity and inclusion uh, culture? Uh, how uh, could you help them to understand uh, maybe their biases, uh, their uh, self-limitation? Uh, because some people don't uh, believe in themselves, for example, or they don't believe in other people uh, based on something what they maybe um, uh, they don't understand what the limitations they have or biases, but make their own decision based on it. How do you engage and educate your employees? Uh, maybe you could share some uh, best practice. Uh, because as you said, you are a company who is one of the best in this area. I think it would be mm -hmm. really, really interesting to the people uh, in different <laughs> countries. Perfect. Uh, we we received a, a we we received the title ab, uh, for the best company, the best uh, the most inclusion company in the in Brazil. Uh, but we have a uh, many things to do because uh, diversity is a continuum challenge because we we can't stop we need to continue improving our our practicals uh, when you our talent acquisition make a, 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 a important job that inform natura is like this as you told it when uh, um, uh, when a person believe in this proposal and um, accept be part of Natura, we need to engage this, this people, uh, this person. And we do it during the days. For example, uh, in the onboarding, we have, uh, we have two days for onboarding, for uh, a person know about culture, process, and we dedicate in now in in onboarding in onboarding journey we we dedicate two hours to speak about diversity and inclusion uh, so if a person think oh it's not serious when <laughs> when uh, arrive in the in the company whoa two hours dedicate to know about diversity, what's right, what is wrong, and how you report something that's different that our code inform. Um, the, we have, when, when a, a person um, arrive at Natura and, uh, and will be a leader, we have another moment to speak about diversity. Why? Because because two hours and more. Yes, more because it's different. Uh, as an employee, practical practice diversity practicals, and it's different 
a leadership because a leadership uh, have to um, uh, observe their their, their uh, uh, behaviors and guarantee that don't have situations um, wrong situations in her team her uh, um, employees uh, Other thing that you that we do to engage people is have group. We have groups to speak about, uh, for example, how is being a woman uh, uh, in Natura? How is being the person with disabilities in Natura? How is being... Um, a black people in Natura. This group uh, have two kinds of uh, agenda. One of that is exclusive for these people because they need a moment to talk about things that uh, only the group understand. Um, and it is how, it's something uh, personal. Uh, only for the group. And the other kind of agenda is uh, open for everyone. Uh, for example, um, a man can participate in a, in a women meeting. Why? Yes, <laughs> because uh, when I talk about uh, equality, is not responsible uh, The responsible is not only the women. The responsible is <laughs> for everyone. Uh, so men need to participate of this meeting to understand, oh, mm, men's playing, I do it. Uh, it's not a good idea. Uh, 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 they, they go to the, to the meets and, and can understand, wow, I do it. And more than engage the employees, I believe that it, they, that employees can engage our connections. Because when I learn something in my in my job, and I arrive at my home, I can share it with my husband, with my my daughter, uh, and I say, oh oh oh, we can say something because it's wrong. It, um, you you don't. Uh, you can't uh, uh, decide if a, if a, if a person has uh, capacity or not because uh, is a person with disabilities. It's not important. Uh, it, it's, it's, I think the, the training, the meetings, the practicals is most important to engage people. Or an example that I, that I can share with you is um, our decisions to sponsor some institutions uh, for example recently we we sponsor an institution about um, uh, black women opportunities black women black uh, women space at the 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 work and we do it because it's important for our brand, of course, but because it's important uh, for what I, I believe. We believe that women and Black women, <laughs> more than it, uh, um, need some, need some space in the, the, in the work space. Um, so we sponsor an, an opportunity and our employees uh, make proud because of it, because they know that, wow, what, is, what, uh, uh, what I heard when I was thinking, oh, Natura, yes or no, I believe in it, and now that I that I am here, I'm be proud because I know it's not um, a, a, a word; it's true. And what I told about uh, every uh, every professional, uh, every employee branding professional is don't lie. If you lie, you have a problem. 
because <laughs> social media can show the can show your reality and you have a problem and more than it you will spend money because uh, you you will spend money because uh, your turnover <laughs> will go up you increase because oh you you told me that this way is this situation is important uh natura uh works like this and now i see it's different therefore um when we have an uh, uh in our evp employee uh, value proposition uh we have three three um, important points um diversity and equity diversity equity and inclusion we have um connection friendship and we have uh, uh, an opportunity to be better to be a person better a human better and, and i feel comfortable to say that This is the center of our EVP. I feel comfortable because I know that these three points are our... Uh, uh, it's true. When people um, uh, meet, when people go inside to Natura, uh, people can see these three points. It is so great. Uh, Anna, it's so interesting, and the time is coming so, so fast. Ah! <laughs> uh, if uh, you don't mind, I have the last uh, but very important question. What your uh, three main advice uh, for the companies, for the HR managers, or decided uh, to implement their culture in their companies, uh, To, uh, and uh, who uh, want to build a day uh, and uh, employ a brand uh, with a strong connections with day. What's the three main advice you can give to this person? Um, I don't know if I, if I understand your question. Uh, if uh, if uh, we talk about the company want to build the day culture, Uh, this diversity inclusion is a code for the company and also a built uh, uh, so employer brand. What could you advise for this comp company? What is uh, from your experience? Ah, perfect, perfect. Um, I believe that the, the advice is uh, one, uh, make, uh, make, make a, a, a research. You you don't uh, <laughs> one listen people. Uh, the employees know <laughs> who they are. Um, EVP is not culture. When I think in culture, I can talk about a culture that I have, and a culture that I would like to have. But when I talk about EVP, no. EVP, it's my reality now. <laughs> And it's important you, you ask people, how, uh, when you're thinking the company, uh, how is the, what, what do you see in your mind? What you think about? When I talk about my company, what, what I think about? And you will listen, listen. And, oh, again. Again, this point, I, if, you, if everyone think you have to, to um, uh, talk about diversity, for example, oh, you know that your culture, independent of you, you want or not, it's true. It's your truth. Uh, so my first, of all, my first of all advice is listen people. They know. Um, I think the, the other um, advice is don't lie, as I told you. Uh, we, can, uh, we can build a beautiful narrative, but please don't lie. Because um, uh, you don't, don't want to, to think, oh, 
mm, it's not true. Why your employees would like to 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 leave this situation? So don't lie. Um, three, um, you need to guarantee that um, your culture, your EVP, is part of your business strategy. If is separated, it's not important. If uh, uh, if you decide to, if it is not connected with your results, it's not important. Uh, so my advice is focus in these three topics. <laughs> Anna, thanks a lot. Uh, as for me, it was really, really inspiring. And for me, you are not a person who only know uh, and have a big experience in the day. You have a person who is a role model. Uh, it is, uh, <laughs> I think it's a part of uh, your nature to think the way uh, like um, the people who really like uh, they uh, have to think and behave. It, it was so great for me to meet you again. Uh, and it's um, so great to uh, have an opportunity uh, to share your ideas uh, with my audience in the different countries. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for your participation. Uh, and uh, as I know, we also uh, uh, take participation in publishing a book. Is it so? <laughs> could you tell a little bit about it? Um, I think it could be also interesting for my audience to know more about it. <laughs> yes, I'm so. Uh... Thank you so thank you so much because for for the invite. I'm so happy and I'm glad to be here uh, talking with you. Uh, in the next year, I will be co-author uh, in a book about reputation. And I will talk about employer branding. I will talk about reputation, and I will talk about as these themes is part of the of my life since I was a childhood. <laughs> and is is I, I'm so um, personally I'm uh, um, so happy to be here because when I remember uh, where you're from. When I remember my family, uh, <laughs> be part of a um, podcast for the <laughs> different countries in the world is, in, is incredible. And now I can share it with my daughter and <laughs> Mariana will be proud of me of mom <laughs> uh, i'm so sorry for my english i know that is not that that i'm not fluent but i i'm really really happy because i could share my ideas and because these ideas that i know they that they are uh, revolutionary revolutionary um is uh, these ideas can uh, um, achieve the world. So I'm so happy. Thank you, Tati. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, this is Takas, Happy at Work. Thank you for staying with us and see you again in our podcast. <laughs>